Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over dependency injection in a little more of an advanced way. Okay, so what we're going to do is make this a little bit more complicated. But before I do, I forgot to go over Firefox.jpg source. Where is it? It's actually, I would think it would be in this folder lib. It's actually not. It's in the folder web. Okay, so I'm not sure why that is. It's in the same folder as bane.dart and index.html. Maybe because you're calling it from here itself, but wherever, I, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't figured it out, but be careful about where these things are located in the web application. All right. So in this example, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to inject a class into another class and inject that other class into app component. All right, so that's, we'll try to make it a little bit more complicated. But because it's a little more complicated, I'm gonna set, create a separate file, inject.dart, right here. I'm gonna import that, but I'm gonna create it on a different page. All right, so I'm gonna import Angular 2, gotta do that. And then what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna have two injectables. One injectable here and one here. So I'm gonna decide that, wait a minute, I have a cake and I wanna be able to create the cake and make a few more characteristics to it but the ingredients should be separate, right? So I'm going to have a cake like the layers, the type of cake, the um, so shape of the cake and stuff like that. But then I'm going to have another class that has the ingredients. So if I'm going to make instead a bagel, I can put the ingredients from, I can call the ingredients from this class to that bagel class, right? So that, that's what I'll do for this particular cake. I'll separate it out. So I'll say, I'm not going to make it very complicated. I'll make it very simple. Int layers. And then I'm going to instantiate. I'm going to create the class ingredients. I'm going to inject it into this class cake. And so ingredients, variable ingredients, this dot ingredients. So when you instantiate this class, you'll automatically instantiate this class because you have to instantiate this class within this class. Got it? So I hope it's clear. It's basically the same thing, only it's just a one more layer through. So we'll go back here, right inside here. I'll import it. And so I'll say cake, cake, this dot cake. So we're going to import this dot cake. Uh, this is a little messy here. There we go. Um, this dot cake. So we'll instantiate cake, which will automatically instantiate ingredients. But we're going to have to change this a little bit. It's not, not it's cake.layers, right? Cake.layers. But it's not cake.layer.flower. It's going to be cake.ingredients.flower, right? With the lowercase i. Because you're instantiating this class, here's the object here. So it's going to have to be cake.ingredients.flower. Same thing with the layers. Same thing that when you click on the add layers, it's going to be down here. Is this correct? That's correct. Cake.layers, correct. All right, so I hope that's clear. Careful where you're injecting, what you're injecting, what level, and where the objects actually are. If there's any question, use autocomplete. It will really help you out, okay? So what else do we have to change? Remember, we have to change up here. Instead of cake.flower, cake.ingredients.flower, and cake.layers, it's the same thing because that's part of the class. Sorry for the back and forth here. Class cake, right? Layers right there. Finally, <clears throat> providers. Again, we don't need directives. It doesn't hurt, but it, we don't need it. What I'll say is providers, cake, and ingredients. So we need to import both of them or put them under the provider list. Both of them, even though this goes into here, it's still, it all flows downstream and therefore we need to put both of them. If we don't, it doesn't work. Okay. So this is the same basic structure, only we're separating it out. So now I can make other class classes that rely on inject.dart. Okay. There we go. So it's pretty straightforward in how you do dependency injection. My personal opinion, the really thing that's complicated, when you when I look at the documentation, I completely get lost. It's be, just because you have to track all these down, right? Okay, I, what's this? I got to go here. What's this? Got to go here. What's this? That's the hardest part of them all. So once you can actually get the idea down, then you can be able to start tracking these things down and saying, okay, what is on this page? What is on that page? It's tough, um, at least for me. 
If you've been doing it for years, it's probably real easy for you. But if not, there's one way to get good at it. Just keep doing it. All right. Thanks a lot.